We want to bring in the Washington Post editorial writer Ruth Marcus now and our own Nora O'Donnell is back because I want to talk to you both a little bit about this this whole mommy wars thing that kind of cropped up. Uh, it, it was very interesting to me when uh, when uh, you know Mitt Romney uh, made that uh, remark and then and then we had uh, Hillary Rosen coming back from the Democrats talking about Ann Romney and said she'd never worked a day in her life. The interesting thing to me was that the, I think the Obama people jumped on Hillary Rosen before before the uh, Romney people could get to her because they really wanted to separate themselves uh, from that remark because they know how important this women's vote is going to be. Uh, what about it, uh, Ruth? What was your take on all that? Well, I thought it was I, actually I wrote that the morning that the whole thing after the night before was exploding. That one of the things that was remarkable was the degree to which David Axelrod, uh, the campaign manager, Jim Messina, then the uh, Mrs. Obama, then the president himself did their best to distance themselves from Hillary Rosen for exactly the reason that you say this is the mommy wars are um, to some extent a silly but very silly because they're not real working women and stay at home moms face a lot of the same issues and stresses. But they're su it's such a sensitive subject. They wanted to say, Hillary who? Hillary who? And I thought that was a little silly, especially the suggestion that it was illegitimate for her to talk about Ann Romney, because I'm sorry, the candidate appointed her his official ambassador to the strange foreign land of women. So it's fair to ask what qualifications she has. Nora. Women make up 53% of the voting electorate. So um, women vote in big numbers and they will decide this election. Uh, we currently don't have a gender gap. There is a gender canyon. President Obama is leading Mitt Romney by 19 points, according to one poll. Mitt Romney will not win if it continues to have that big of a canyon of support. So Mitt Romney's uh, campaign successfully uh, was watching uh, Hillary Rosen and jumped on those comments to make it look like uh, this particular Democratic advisors and others don't like stay at home moms. They even sort of put out this bumper sticker that say moms drive uh, the economy in which they use to sort of raise uh, money, the Mitt Romney campaign. So this was one where the Romney campaign tried to score some political points. But I don't think it's a manufactured controversy as some have called it. These controversies really pick at a scab of something that's really pulsing in the American electorate, a debate about women's rights, about women's role. We had the debate about contraception. And I think this is going to continue uh, throughout this election because women um, not only make up 53% uh, of the electorate, but they're also 50% of the workplace now. Ruth, you, were, you wrote today. Uh, that there might be more constructive ways to uh, wage this battle on both sides. Exactly. I think that while the issue of stay-at-home moms versus working moms is a sensitive subject, the fact of the matter is that there's these fascinating numbers from a Heartland National Journal poll that show 44 percent of working moms have taken time off not simply on their maternity leaves but at other times. I know I have during my career. So to some extent the mommy wars are a sort of false, cho false issue. Women who stay at home and women who work and men all think it's better that we overall a significant majority think it's better that women are now part of the workforce and we're here to stay as part of the workforce. So the real things that we should be talking about are the kinds of things that Secretary Geithner was talking about and there are some issues of particular salience to women, social issues, contraception, workplace flexibility, Violence Against Women Act, all sorts of stuff where we really could have a useful discussion. Uh, I actually looked this up this morning because I wanted to know. In fact, 70% um, of mothers in this country are working outside the home. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. That's a very large number. So this is going to be a debate that people are talking about. But the issues are what are going to decide this election, not whether um, the comments that people make. Uh, Mitt Romney has called for the end of federal funding of Planned Parenthood. Some people agree with that. Some people disagree with that. Scott Walker, the Republican governor of Wisconsin, who Mitt Romney has called a hero, has quietly repealed an equal pay law. Mitt Romney has been asked whether he supports equal pay. He says yes, but he hasn't said whether he supports the Lilly Ledbetter Act, which makes it easier for women to sue on equal pay. So there's a lot of really interesting issues that I think um, 
uh, moms who work inside the home and moms who work outside the home are going to be looking closely at. All right. Well, I want to have both of you back to talk about some more of that as we get on down the track.